Hi there, this is Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine. You all guys know where I'm at. I'm at Toy Fair at the Jacob Javits Convention Center in New York City. I'm here with Adam from Cryptic Zoic, right? Cryptic Zoic? Cryptic They have a, they have a uh, Kickstarter which is going to start next week after um, the show here? It's going right now. It's going right now, okay. For the Ghost Boss, Ghostbusters board game. Adam here is going to tell us about why he wanted to do the board game and why they put it on a Kickstarter to get it going. Plus, tell us about the other um, products they have coming out from Cryptic Zoic. So with that, Adam. So, welcome to the Cryptozoic booth. We've got Ghostbusters the board game. It's live on Kickstarter right now. Uh, a lot of the people we work with and are uh, founders of the company, myself included, we are kids of the 80s and we have been diehard Ghostbusters fans our whole life. This is kind of a dream project. This is the kind of game that the company's wanted to do since its inception about four and a half years ago. And uh, we're so excited about the opportunity and what's really great about this game is that we've had 30 years of content to pull from and we're not married to any particular storyline, we're not married to any particular uh, iteration of it. So we've worked with Dan Schoening to be our, you know, unite all looks from all facets of the brand. We've got him doing the custom illustrations and you can see just from the box top that we've got film-based characters, the real Ghostbusters cartoon-based characters and toy line characters all coming together in one game. And we've also had the talented Rob Momarts design our double-sided game boards. So it's going to be a modular game. You can fit up to 10 tiles in any one time, but there's uh, art on both sides. You can configure it any way you want. We're going to be providing a whole campaign base of scenarios to take you through novice level ones, intermediate ones, very challenging ones. Your characters are going to level up. Uh, each Ghostbuster's got a unique ability. It's a cooperative game, and they all play off of each other. So they're what levels them up is different per Ghostbuster, so it's going to be up to the players to really work together and trigger off of each other in order to get their character stronger, more powerful, and able to bust more ghosts. Now, what's going to come with the ball, what's going to come with the ball game besides the um, board? Uh, you're going to have also um, figures? Yeah, uh, so inside the base game, there's going to be the four playable Ghostbusters and three bosses. The bosses are going to be Slimer, Adolnus, and Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Outside of that, you're going to have numerous level one ghosts, and those are going to be Galloping Ghouls, level two ghosts, and those are going to be uh, Gruesome Twosomes, and then the level three are going to be Boogaloo Manifestations. Now, I stress the manifestations because it's not Boogaloo himself. He's not allowed to enter our area from the spirit world, so he's basically sending iterations of himself to wreak havoc over here and bust down the walls so the you know, actual boogaloo can make his own way. But aside from that, we've got, uh, on the Kickstarter itself, we initially were gonna have an Ecto-1 be a cardboard token that would move around the board. We're able to fund our goal, so the first thing that we're able to do is convert that into a physical piece. So now all backers and all retailers and every version of this game that ever sees the light of day is going to have an awesome little Ecto-1 come with the game, too. Now, when do you think you'll be able to have this um, board game come out for the um, Ghostbusters? We're planning to ship to all the backers in October and then uh, to retailers shortly thereafter, but we want to ensure that the backers are going to get a copy first. Now, you're also working on some minifigures and also some other product for the Ghostbusters. What are those? Well, like I said, we're huge Ghostbusters fans, so one of the first things we want to do is add some lifestyle stuff to the product, too. We've got a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man apron. It's going to come with a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man hat. And what are you going to do with that apron? You're going to make some Ghostbusters cookies. So we have some awesome cookie cutters coming out soon, too. These are all just in the prototype stage, but we're pretty excited about these and think they're going to be really fun. And then also coming out, this is in the very early stage. It's probably going to be hitting uh, shelves in 2016, and that's Blind Reveal Vinyl Minis. Um, the first couple that we're showing is the art style that we're looking to go with. It's very highly stylized, but we think they're also really unique across the entire property. I think each one of these iterations is going to be a really unique and fun way to see the characters that everybody's known and loved. And physical merchandise is new to Cryptozoic, so expanding on that, we've got the license to bombshells. Uh, a couple things that we're looking to come out with first and, uh, is 
busts. So these are going to be based on the established statues that have come out already. They've been highly popular but limited to only 5,200 pieces. So this is going to be a way for people who maybe didn't get in on that at first to follow up and still be a part of those awesome statues and at a more introductory price point that's not going to uh, maybe set you back. Maybe this is going to be your first foray into collecting this sort of thing and hopefully open the door for more of that to come. And then following on that, we've got uh, vinyls. And now, well, the Bombshells line is basically predicated on that 40s uh, bombshell, the painting that would be on the side of a bomber plane where they get the name. There were two sorts of pinups at the time. You had the traditional one that was more realistic and stylized, but then we're kind of going with the other pinup, and that's the more cartoony look. And what's really fun about these guys is that the look that's been established with Bombshells, every one of the uh, characters featured, this is a really neat new look for them. So Harley Quinn's bomber jacket and the goggles, like that's really new to Harley. So we're carrying that same aesthetic and look, but over to the new, more cartoony style. And you can see the same with Catwoman and Wonder Woman. Oh, it's going to keep on around. Talk about that. Okay. So one of the things we're most really excited about and it's been a real showstopper here is Bone. Uh, it's just hard to know how passionate people are with particular IP and characters until they come up and tell you <laughs> to your face. And Bone's one of those ones that we've had people coming by and stopping. They're not even in the buying business. They're here for other means, but Bone just means something to them and they just want to come and check it out. So we're going to be doing vinyl figures, and based on we've got uh, we've got Bone as he appears on the cover of the you know the collected volume. And something we would love to do is make that illustration come to life. And something we'd even further like to do is have that illustration come to life and be part of kind of a deluxe packaging of the book. It makes a great gift to introduce somebody to Bone or something for the collector who hasn't uh, had the chance to have it Bone kind of in a physical form. And over games. We move on to board and card games. New this year is the follow-up sequel to our Epic Spell Wars of the Battle Wizards at Mount Skullfire. We've now we've got Epic Spell Wars of the Battle Wizards Rumble at Castle Tentakill. Uh, this has been one of our more successful original IP games. And uh, the first Battle Wizards is actually going to be featured on the internet show Tabletop with Will Wheaton coming up in March. We're pretty excited to have that happen. We think that's going to get some people uh, discovering the game that maybe haven't before. And then later this summer, uh, they'll be following up with the sequel. And what's great about the sequel is that just a few new play mechanics. I'm just going to say Beast and Blood. But the other thing is the cards are fully compatible, meaning that you can make even more crazy combinations of face-melting spells by combining both sets. And over here, we have our DC deck building line. We keep adding more to it. One of our favorite things about the DC deck building line is while each product is standalone and playable, they are interchangeable. So a lot of people have been having fun mixing, matching sets, coming up with their own new kind of challenges and difficulties. We get a lot of people telling us about record power generated on a hand. And um, we've been pretty shocked at some of them. And they tell us what was actually in the hand. And when we figured out, we're very impressed. People really like this game. Earlier this year, uh, we came out with our Rivals line. Now, this is, introduces people to the deck building line in a two player version. So, this one's Batman versus Joker. Again, you can play this one on its own or fold the cards into any of the other editions. Our Crisis expansions are our first true expansions. Now, these aren't standalone playable, but they turn each and every one of these games into a whole new user experience. They give up to 14 new heroes, adds cooperative mode and what we call Crisis, which uh, basically adds a new level of challenge and a play pattern that's different than these. Um, more complexity, kind of something for people to graduate to, and really not for the faint of heart. Our playtesters got beat up pretty good when playing this, so that was uh, something that we knew that the hardcore fans are really going to enjoy. And then, actually, we're going to move on to Cartoon Network. Over here to Cartoon Network, because a lot of this stuff has been out already. And then. Uh, and then our other expanding line is Adventure Time Card Wars. We've seen great success with this, starting with the Finn and Jake set, and then BMO versus Lady Rainicorn. And what people love about this, this is the game inside the game. So you're not really playing with Finn cards and Jake cards, you're playing with the cards they play with in the show. People have really kind of responded with that. But we did want to add one more level of immersion. So uh, earlier we came out with what's called the Hero Pack. 
this actually lets you play as Finn and Jake and build a deck around them. So when you play as Finn, you get a particular ability. When you play as any one character, you, play, you get one unique ability, and then you can craft your decks around that ability and kind of actually you know, choose to be Finn or Jake playing against each other. And it also adds uh, 12, or actually it gets you up to speed with the six characters that have been released so far. It has those hero cards in it, plus a few additional ones like Magic Man and Tree Trunks. And then every iteration that comes out after, next coming is Ice King and Marceline. They'll actually come with their hero card already inside. So moving forward, every one of our new sets will come with the hero card for the character's feature. We're pretty excited to get Ice King and Marcy out there because Ice King introduces a new landscape called Icy Lands. It's a new card abilities actually with these freeze tokens. I think people are going to be pretty excited about that. Let's move on down to, uh, you got Ghostbuster class, training class coming out, Supernatural. Supernatural. <laughs> okay, so in addition to the board game and the aprons and the cookie cutters in the finals, we're doing a trading card set with Ghostbusters, and people familiar with our trading cards know that there's a lot of extra goodies in those. So with Ghostbusters, we're looking for autographs, we're going to be having original sketch cards, and we've even acquired... Uh, a big chunk of the library of the animation cells from the real Ghostbusters cartoon show. So we're going to actually be adhering real animation cells onto cards as part of uh, what's going to make this set really special. And then Supernatural, seasons four through six. We're working our way to get caught up with the show. We hope it keeps going and we never catch up because the show is amazing. Uh, you can see that we've got Sam and Dean and Cassiel featuring on here. We've got autographs and wardrobes, and just follow us in line, and we'll be keeping you up to date with who the signers are and what you can look to expect to find in this set. Uh, oh, so Arrow, we have out here, but unfortunately, Arrow's already sold through. So uh, we wanted up here because it just came out so recently. A lot of people didn't know it was quite out yet, but it moved very fast. The success of the show kind of speaks to that. We had a lot of great signers, and we're looking forward to following that up with season two. Let's sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Okay. Also coming up is Sleepy Hollow. Uh, this is based on season one. Season two is airing right now. We've got uh, a robust collection of signers. You know, basically everything you're looking for in our typical trading card set. We're using a lot of our new print technologies in there. And also available, coming out soon, is uh, our supervillain set next in our DC line. And um, again, look for a lot of our unique print technologies in there, original sketches, and uh, this one's really just featuring the bad guys. I think that's going to be it from what you guys got coming out here for the, uh, 2015, right? Oh, some more that you couldn't show me right away and everything. Yeah, a few things under wrap, but, you, know, you might see the black oh. curtain over there. Oh. <laughs> Don't look behind the black curtain. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, surprise in store. We're really excited and even more excited for next year. Uh, is one of those surprises uh, something from DC? Maybe. <laughs> no comment. Is it Marvel, maybe? No comment. Oh, should I say Disney Marvel? No, no, no comment. Adventures, Age of Ultron? Still no comment, huh? I can't say anything, but yeah, we, yeah. we hope to reveal that curtain soon. <laughs> Let me show you guys the curtain. <laughs> that is the curtain with the mystery stuff behind it, which he can't tell me what it is. Okay, we'll see about that. <laughs> with that, I'm Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine. Here at Toy Fair 2015, I want to thank Adam here from Cryptic Zoic for taking us around their booth here and showing us all the new products coming out and also you guys check out the Kickstarter for Ghostbusters and um, how will anybody find out about the uh, Kickstarter? Well let's go to kickstarter.com we're one of the staff picks shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay you guys heard that with that I'm Roderick from Toy Masters like I said I will catch you guys later. Thanks Roderick. <laughs>